Well, here we are in southern Manitoba, standing next to highway number three. And that bulge you see on the horizon there is Pilot Mound. And that is one of my destinations today. Pilot Mound, rather than being a glacial formation, is in fact an upheaval of natural gas from below. So the glaciers did have do their work on top of it, but that's what formed Pilot Mound. And here I am at the foot of Pilot Mound. Going to approach it now on a beautiful September afternoon. Lovely hot, a little bit of breeze just to cool the skin. Blue sky, what more could you ask for? Well, maybe an adventure on Pilot Mound. Let's go see. Some old corrals, a loading chute, and then up the mound. And where I'm standing was originally the site of Pilot Mound. This is where they decided to build the town at first. And um, they had streets all laid out, everything was well planned. It was going to be big time right at the foot of this 116 foot mound. And then the railway didn't quite come through here a few miles away, so they moved the whole town from the foot of the mound over to uh, next to the railway. However, there was one thing that didn't get moved, and that's the bank vault. That's what that thing is right there. And here's a pan of the countryside from the uh, site of the original Pilot Mound. Boy, everybody in town would have had a classic view of the prairie, wouldn't they? Beautiful. Well, here's the 360 degree pan from the top Pilot Mound. Right down there is the McKay Farm. I talked to Pam yesterday and she gave me permission to come to the top of the mound today. Here we go. Now, I'm standing atop Little Dance Hill. That's what the Assiniboine called it anyway. It was a meeting ground, a ceremonial place, a place where people got together and celebrated and mourned and exalted in life. Today we call it Pilot Mound. And the three flagpoles fly, the Manitoba flag, the Canadian flag, and the Union Jack. Here on Pilot Mound, we're about uh, almost 120 feet above the uh, prairie below which made this place a great landmark. It served as a beacon for animals and hunters and settlers and explorers and people who needed to find a landmark on the prairies. This was one of them. Well, aside from numerous awestruck humans and animals, some other people who visited Pilot Mound with an agenda who were uh, Sir John A. Macdonald came here and addressed a throng of people. Thousands literally turned out to uh, hear the man speak. And uh, it was here on Pilot Mound that he uh, orated. We're not very far from the American-Canadian border here and something else that uh, Pilot Mound has drilled into a rock here on the western slope is a geodetic uh, survey marker. Right down there indicating the uh, true north direction. Beautiful. Lots of these along the uh, border here. Here's a gorgeous buffalo rub stone on the uh, side of Pilot Mound. You can see the shiny part of the stone where the animals have polished it clean and bright. Mm, must have felt good to relieve all those bites. <laughs> 